Yo, what's up guys? My name is Robby Mendez and in this video I'm gonna create a track with only the use of Vitals Angels Volume 1. That is gonna be super exciting. Let's dive straight into the video. So for the ones who missed out, I recently released a new sound bank and it's called Vital Essentials Volume 1. Now that's of course super exciting. But what's even more exciting is that you guys can win a copy of the sound bank. But Robbie, how does it work? Let me explain. Now see, if you want to win Vital Essentials Volume 1, all you need to do is comment here down below, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, follow me on Instagram. So it's not that hard. Like, subscribe, follow Instagram, and leave a comment here down below why you think you deserve of winning this sound bank. So yeah, that's of course super exciting. Now, this uh, bank includes 60 presets, samples, uh, MIDI files, and even a project file. So in today's video, I'm going to create a track with that specific sound bank, including the samples. Now, that's of course amazing. Okay, now let's uh, dive straight into uh, Vital and create a track. Now, like usual, I want to start with a little breakdown. But first, let me scroll to Vital Essentials Volume 1. And I think we should start with like a dope flick sound. Um, maybe the small peep peep. Yeah, why not? Let's use the small peep. Now, uh, well, let's decide the key. And we end up on an A sharp. Now, that is great news because I love A sharp. Yeah. Okay, let's create a uh, chord. We just created a chord. I feel amazing. Now, um, by the way, let's set the BPM to 126. Okay, that's, that's a bit static rhythm, but we'll fix that. Um yeah, what's what's this? Okay, now that is an amazing melody. <laughs> Hold up. Let me see if that works. It's a bit simple, but... And then maybe we can do like a... a... Like a second round, so then we have to switch the chord. Yeah. 
Okay, let's uh, do it uh, like this right now to save up a bit of time. Um, now actually, what I do want to do, what I do want to do, nice. <laughs> it's cool. Let's make the chords a bit more complex because they're pretty simple now. Actually. <sighs> All right, uh, now let's double, double. the root notes which is this okay 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 i think we uh kind of like have the chord set i'm not like i think there can still be a bit more different but yeah it's just a video you know right 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 uh, we got the chords ready um let's see if we can load in uh like a chord saw sound something like for example the let me say let me say i'm a little bit confused i can see yeah maybe let's add in this one All right, so I'm gonna tweak a little bit on the preset. Now that's also something you can do for yourself. Like for example, you like the sound, but you wanna tweak it a little bit. It's fine, because in this case, I wanted to make the release short. And uh, bring the reverb a bit down. Now I control the width with an LFO. And delay the same. All right, now that's that's cool. Now also it comes with uh, some samples and stuff. But the thing is that <laughs> it's awkward. It, it on this external hard drive. I don't have the uh, latest version of Vital Essentials. I mean, not like for samples. Now let's copy the root notes of the uh, the chords uh, into your sub. I will fix uh, later on the sidechain and stuff. Um, I think I want to double that the width, or not like double, but let's try basically the the melody. To, uh, you know, add a little lead and stuff. Um, I think in this case, I want to go for uh, the mysterious plug. No, the air plug one, I think. That's, that's a nice one. I think if you combine that with the uh, attacky lead. The techie filter, yeah. And another one, like I know exactly what I create, so that's the reason why I can, you know, combine those uh, together real quick. Combine it with, um, maybe... Stack of leads. I think I want to add a bit of release to that.
Space should be. Okay, it's a bit, uh, you know, it's nice, but a bit simple, you know? So let's see if we can make it a bit more complex. Now, for the lead, I do want to add uh, maybe more like a plug sound still. Something like the uh, mysterious plug. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's, uh, the chords, let's change the chords. Not, not let's change the chords, but let's add some uh, extra sounds to the chords. So maybe combine it with, um, what is the solid organ gonna do? <laughs> Kind of nice. Then I think um, I wanted to filter it, so. Do that. And leave out the. in a vital let's apply a little vital yeah. oh fuck. <laughs> okay 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 uh maybe for the second part we want to have like a little whistle something like that so like that yeah now what we want to do is we want to route all the synths to one uh, channel so we can filter those within one. So this is seven, this is also seven, this is also seven, and this is also seven. By the way, what's even? No, no, no. I'm gonna do it, do it differently. I'm gonna route everything separate, but then route it to one bus so I can still manipulate the volumes each individual in in individually. In, yeah, you know what I mean. Nice. So what we want to do is filter it up so we can have a bit more chill feeling in the second part of the drop. What happens when I put that whistle? It's nice, but make it a bit more short. Okay, okay. Uh, we get in somewhere. How much time did we spend on this? 22 minutes. Hmm, quite solid. It's a bit too much stuff going on. It's faster into the... Okay, uh, now for the leads, um, I think I'm gonna bounce them out right now because of the fact that um, the CPU and stuff. Um, but 
the thing is that I haven't side chain a thing. I didn't side chain the bass, the the chords, the leads, and all that stuff. So it will sound way better. Actually, I like that with the organ. That makes it more organic. But yeah. Let me see. My big friend, Bigger Bar. Yeah. Let's apply that. Okay, okay. Let's put the Kickstar, I think. No, you know what? Let's apply the Shaper box instead. Mm -hmm. Let's base. Select folder, deep sidechain base. <laughs> Let's apply a bit of reverb to see what happens. Okay, quite nice. That whistle sound is dope. Okay, now let's uh, route everything, yeah, except for the bass, because I like to do the bass separate, to one uh, channel for the side chain. Shaper box, and I'm gonna have this preset called mid high side chain. Side, side chain. So basically, the high frequencies have a different side chain compared to the mid frequencies. <laughs> Now you see why I always like to apply uh, sidechain afterwards, because right now I think it's just a bit too much, you know? So, um, that's the thing, like if you can make it uh, danceable and, and swingy already without sidechain, it's going to be even better with sidechain, and now it's actually a bit too much. <laughs> Now, uh, what I mentioned mentioned a couple minutes before is I want to apply a mid bass, maybe this one. Got out a bit of the lows, not too much. And I want to route that. No, I actually want to do the same uh, same sidechain as the, the bass, like the sub bass. Definitely makes it more thick in the oh in the mid range. Maybe we can actually change the whistle because we have another whistle sounds and see what if that's gonna be nice. Now we got we got electronic whistle one, but we also got electronic whistle two. Just 
Just, I'm just wondering. Or combine it, why not? I think uh, we get definitely a solid idea here. How much time do we spend on this? 33 minutes. Now that's quite solid. It sounds like a solid drop already. Um, now let's create a break. Uh, I think I'm just going to create like the chords out of the... The, the drop chords, yeah, and then control L. Yeah, however, I think that maybe one is higher. You know what I just like is that it just has a unique touch to it. Like this is not a sound you hear common, you know. Um, so that's why I, what I like about these presets. Now I won't say like that this is like the best or something, but I don't know. I just love the fact that it's just unique and specifically if you combine it with some other sounds. Exactly. Uh, I think this is definitely a dope start if you filter it out. Start with like a filter. Um, let's save this. And from that second part, we can apply the... Um, like a race. I think in this case, I do want to filter it a little bit off because the track itself isn't that aggressive, you know? Something like this. Um, now, some else, something else you want to apply is maybe uh, the top melody, but then with like a s nice plucky sound. Okay, that's maybe nice with some reverb. Every time it ends, I want to add another a, a, a plug to it. So the ending notes. Let's go and open up a new plug. I think for this, might use the music box or let me check. Give me a sec. No, I think the mysterious plug actually. So. One active higher. I think that's definitely nice with, again, reverb and then filtered a little bit off so it doesn't have that much high frequencies and it's matching a bit more with the character of the, uh, yeah, other plug sounds. So let me do that. Let me filter it. Yeah, that's nice. So it's not that, uh... So what I want to do is uh, add a filter, but rather to the same as the... Uh, like, I want to link it to the filter I just created. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe you can this one also start out of a filter. Let's call it the one hour challenge, by the way, at the same time. We're 41 minutes on the way. Let me try something. Maybe we can start applying a bit of atmosphere sounds. I believe that's also in the pack. Simple suffix. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I think you should use some practice. Not specifically, we know that there's a different note that you can scale. Yeah. Like this one, yes. I think it's nice i think i like that and then for the second break i wanted to introduce a new melody let's create one okay let me filter that Yeah, let's try. <laughs> Can be nice. Alright, alright. <laughs> 
gonna do that with like a different type of sound i think uh, maybe we can do that with like a music box how much time do i have left for a one hour challenge 10 minutes guys 10 freaking minutes um now that's gonna be fine maybe that one can be nice as well And also, I think if we start with the real space, that's kind of be also a different feeling. better seamless transition to this yeah um what we can apply as well maybe uh, just to see is a patriator a patriator pa pa that build up in there and that's like a really short uh, second break yeah but uh, guys it's just one hour it is a just one hour man um i guess like this yep <laughs> Oh, something went wrong. And I 
like it melts together really. Love to see it. Um, I think I'm gonna apply the master on top. I I I, just, I don't want to change anything. We're like on forty five minutes in. Uh, but it's annoying that the drop is going crazy. I'm gonna bounce out a couple sounds so I can actually play the track for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, guys, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's nice melody. In the meanwhile, I can play a little guitar. In the meanwhile, I can play a little guitar. Okay, now we bounced out that. Is it still working? It's a bit better, but still crashing a little. Yeah, okay, so how much time do we have left? This took definitely a couple. Yeah, this took three minutes. Now that's crazy. Um, now let's apply my master chain on top. Actually, 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 I want to do one more thing before closing up. How much time do I have left? Two minutes. Um, I was way too relaxed. Now what I want to do is apply a white noise to the lead because it's lagging a little bit of... Um, high frequencies okay 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 i think we're gonna close it up here right now we're probably on one hour or 59 minutes now whatever okay so this is what i created with the use of only vital essentials volume one let's have a listen and i'm sorry probably will go crazy in a drop because of the cpu but it's because of the fact that i'm recording my screen at the same time and i've opened up uh, 17 uh, vitals. So let's have a listen. Okay, this is i think it's cool i think i think it's really cool uh but it, it annoys me that the fact that it's just crazy on the cpu so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a little bounce of the drop uh, so we can listen in high quality hold up okay uh, i made a little bounce of the drop so we can listen in actual high quality so let's go Go through that second break. This is what I ended up with, with only one hour and the use of my own sound bank, Vital Essentials Volume 1. Um, now there's a link in the description where you can buy this sample pack, or actually it's a sound bank, not a sample pack. However, samples are included. Um, 
But remember, in the beginning of the video, I said there was a chance that you guys can win a copy of this sound bank. Now, how does it work? Comment down below why you think you deserve this sound bank. Uh, like subscribe and follow me on instagram uh, and i will announce the winner next video so anyways this is the end of the video and like always um if you liked it thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down it's all fine but for now i want to thank you for watching this video and hopefully i check you in a brand new robbie mendez video next week Peace. wow what an amazing result <laughs>